We're here to show the valley some new technology that the Henderson Fire Department has. We call it a tethered drone. It doesn't require a, an individual operator to stand and fly it. And so what it does is it, it frees up personnel to be able to focus on the problem that we're trying to solve. So the way that the drone will help us in a firefight is we're able to get it up in an elevated, stable position and give us that information in real time. Sometimes while you're inside of a firefight, your field of vision is limited from smoke and fire and just the structure itself. This gives us that separation to be able to get above it and look down. Uh, we do have the ability to change the view from a real camera image to a heat signature and we're able to see how the heat moves through the building while it's in operation. Not only locating the fire but we can also locate people. You can in see that the people are a different temperature than the surrounding area. The difference between this drone and most other drones that we're familiar with is this one is what we call a tethered drone. So the way that it's autonomous is that it's tied by an information and a physical cable to the vehicle, which takes away the need for a pilot to maintain focus at all times. The difference when we had a piloted drone, one, it was the response time, getting the, the drone to the scene. Because they weren't responding in an emergency vehicle, they had to follow the normal laws of traffic and we just had delayed response times. Being able to tie this vehicle to an emergency vehicle, it'll get there in the same time. And what it does is it allows them, you know, by the single push of a button to get an elevated view versus going through the spool up time of flying a piloted drone. It's all about increasing safety for not only firefighters, but the public as well.